So I'm uh, Captain Kyle Wadalevich. I'm the commander for the 643rd Engineer Construction Company, uh, 11th Engineer Battalion. Uh, today we're out here um, doing our combined training with the uh, uh, South Korean Air Force and South Korean Army, um, enhancing interoperability, and then uh, really focusing on airfield damage repair, but along with uh, uh, HESCO emplacement and uh, bridge building as well. Uh, it's been a great experience uh, just coming out here um, both learning from each other on the, uh, the, the cultural side, as well as focusing on the, the military training. Um, we're staying in their Air Force barracks, uh, as well as uh, utilizing some of their equipment um, on site. Uh, and so it's been a great opportunity to see how they're doing all their, uh, all their training and learn from them, but also teach them a little bit from our side, from the TAC perspective, and, as well as uh, our vehicles as well. Uh, so again, we're staying at their barracks, so we are staying uh, side by side. Uh, with the with the Korean um, Army and Korean Air Force, uh, so like our game plan uh, tonight is we're gonna have a barbecue, uh, play some soccer, uh, so have that opportunity. We also came out here previously uh, two weeks ago to do a rehearsal in the same exact location, and so that was an opportunity to come out, uh, talk to each other, uh, and just kind of get to know one another, um, ask about our experiences, uh, their their experiences here in Korea, and how we um, can you know enhance our ability. Uh, going out, being good partners in the in the Korean community as well. Uh, for 2ID, so um, you know, if something does happen on the peninsula, uh, we're going to be called to respond. Specifically, our company, um, we're not going to be on the front lines. We're going to be in the rear area, uh, doing any type of construction, vertical or horizontal, uh, whether that's new construction um, for like a, a FOB type um, construction project or repairing damage, uh, either from artillery, missile strikes, uh, etc. Uh, so this would be a great opportunity for us to come together and basically uh, train how we would fight, um, you know, when it comes to actual wartime experience. Yeah, so I've been uh, on Peninsula for about uh, two plus years now. Um, so I was in the division headquarters before I came down here to the 11th Engineer Battalion. So I was in the uh, C-33, the operations. Um, so I, I saw firsthand, you know, doing these exercises and how that affects uh, units on the ground, uh, working with their Korean partners, going through um, all their combined trainings. Uh, so getting out here to do one, uh, leading it right as a company and working with the, the Koreans has been a very rewarding experience um, for me personally to be able to see you know these these uh, these planning efforts come to fruition. Uh, I, I'd say that um, you know the exercise itself has been a great opportunity for us to uh, learn from our Korean counterparts as well as teach them. Uh, but more importantly, you know moving forward. Uh, we have more combined training on the docket um, later on this fiscal year um, and then later on in the current year and then future um, operations. So uh, it's just going to keep going forward, just more opportunities for us to learn from um, you know, those tactics, techniques and procedures from, from those Korean counterparts and then strengthen the alliance um, by you know, doing that combined training on a regular basis.